And the whole time when he's talking, I'm like, is that, is that fucking Jude Law? The movie went on, and then, of course, credits finally hit, and I want to find out who this goddamn narrator is. Lo and behold, Jude Law. Not only is he starring in every fucking movie you're gonna watch in 2003 or 2004, but he also happens to be narrating in your movies as well. Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon's House of Bargain here in Shopkeep. There's a little bit of dirt right here. Let's go ahead and clean that up really quickly. There's something on the ground over here which we will discuss here shortly. I cannot pick up this item. I can hold it this way, but I can't pick it up. And you know what? I'm under the sneaking suspicion that this right here happens to be dragon equipment. And I think we probably killed somebody wearing it, so I can't unfortunately use it myself. Uh, unless, uh, no, yeah, I mean, I drop it everywhere. I guess we're gonna have to just shred it down, huh? This is really unfortunate. I could have had some... What? Oh, I can't even... Now it's stuck over here. No, 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 don't destroy mage hoods. No, no, Falcon, you fool. What is, uh... Okay, well, yeah, apparently I can't use this at all. I can't shred it. I can't take it in my inventory. I can't steal it. Can't do a damn thing about it. Dragon equipment and it can't use it. This is kind of like a slap in the face, kind of a taunt. Anyway, let's get this um, episode underway over here. Let's open up the doors here for our first business day. Here today, anyway. I have rugs this time around, so hopefully a less dirty store because yesterday, or at least the last episode, we're kind of running into a bunch of issues here. Excuse me, leather pants? Why don't, don't, why don't I ever have you in stock? That's a really big question that I want to ask you guys. Why are you never in stock? It's not like you're really popular or anything. I guess we'll just put those over here. Uh-oh, I forgot to put stuff over here. Uh, what went over here? Was it the wooden... Wooden... Oh, wooden chest. Okay. <laughs> I thought I covered everything, but apparently I missed a few things here. Let me tell you, the more your store expands, the harder it is for you to restock after an episode. Like, I was running around for like 15 more minutes again after my last recording and just restocking and making sure I had some more backups of everything else. Um, for the most part, we have more of the same over here, but let me go ahead and do that. And this here is where... I can't place anything here anymore. This spot is apparently no longer available to me. This is where I found the dragon shoulders, mind you. So I have no idea why. I guess my, my wooden shoulders evolved into dragon shoulders when I wasn't looking, and there you go. Did you just buy something golden, my friend? You better have. You better have. I'm not sure if you are or not. You don't look too golden to me, though. So I don't think he probably did. Uh, you're over here picking up items, you're over here killing people, that's fine, let me go ahead and add some fuel to you as well. Anybody else need any more refueling? I got a lot of fuel right now, I spent a lot of money on that. Uh, let's just go ahead and top you off here if we can. What about you, my friend? Add fuel as well. And so far I gotta say, the 250% sales are going pretty well. They aren't complaining too much. Yes, we've seen a few more items hit the floor now than before. But, um, you know, it's still nothing to worry about. Uh, for the most part, everything at the end of last episode, they were just about everything sold out of my store, so I can't really complain about that too much over here. How are you doing here, Jude Johnson? You guys remember Jude Law? Like, uh, circa 2000... Let's go back to, like, 2000... <laughs> 2004, 2003, maybe? Where Jude Law was in every single fucking movie imaginable in Hollywood? Like, he was either in every movie, or he was doing voiceovers for every movie. How do I know this? Because I watched Lemony Snickets. I remember doing this. I went to the theater, and I watched Lemony Snickets with my girlfriend at the time wanted to watch it. And again, it was a decent movie. You know, Jim Carrey, you can't be wrong. You can't go wrong with that. You were trying to steal something really valuable to me, my friend. Get on out of here. Anyway, we went to watch Lemony Snickets, and, um, the, the narrator... No, spoilers, happens to be Jude Law. And the whole time when he's talking, I'm like, is that, is that fucking Jude Law? <laughs> my girlfriend's like, it sounds like him, doesn't he? I'm like, yeah, it sounds like Jude Law. And, um, you know, movie went on. And then, of course, credits finally hit, and I want to find out who this goddamn narrator is. Lo and behold, Jude Law. Not only is he starring in every fucking movie you're going to watch in 2003 or 2004, but he also happens to be narrating in your movies as well. This man was everywhere in Hollywood. Nowadays, you barely see him, and that's kind of alright. I guess he wore out his shelf life relatively fast. He had like a two, three year wonder period where he was just like all over the place. Speaking of all over the place, go ahead and fix this up over here because you're a bit worn down. But yeah, I mean, if you're a Jude Law fan, I apologize. Jude Law, if you're watching, I apologize too. But, um, let's be honest here, dog. Let's go ahead and uh, call a spade a spade. You were in everything. And you wore yourself out relatively quickly. That's what happens with me when I'm stars. You know, when they're in every single goddamn movie, that's one way for you to, like, you know, get on Falcon's, you know, actor shit list or just performer shit list in general. If you're in everything, I don't want to see you after a while. You know what? Give, give room to somebody else. They could probably do the job as well, okay? <laughs> you can say, like, oh, but Jude Law's a good actor, Falcon. Well, I don't know. That's really um, objective or subjective, I should say, anyway. Objective, subjective, whichever one you prefer. Literally, figuratively, you know, it's 2015. We use words to make up words for all the time. You know, when people say literally, they sometimes don't even mean literally. They say figuratively. 
But, you know, it's 2015, you know, these things don't even have a thing anymore. At this point, we're not even conversing through words. We're just kind of like, you know, just randomly saying grunt, grunts and sounds. And people are like, uh-huh, yeah, I, you make a good point. That's <laughs> conversations. That's what happens to me anyway. Like, I usually go around and just grunt at people, and they're like, oh, yeah, good point, Falcon. I'm like, yeah, exactly. No need for a bunch of, you know, silly comical conversation. Grunts and sound is more than enough to get this um, point across over here I'm trying to make. I should have more backups of you. This time around, I'm going to try to restock more as we um, play over here because it might make it easier for me at the, end of, at the end of the last episode, or at least at the end of an episode, to restock when I have to, like, you know, have, like, an empty store completely and be like, oh, my God. I just want to record another episode, Doc. I'm a bit short on time. You know why I'm short on time? Um, Thanksgiving. I'm, more, I'm going out of town. I need to have some episodes recorded over here for you guys. Otherwise, you won't uh, get your um, daily dose of Falcon here, and God forbid nobody gets their daily dose of Falcon, right? I'm obviously being really facetious. I'm not full of myself here, I assure you. There's one... There's You know who's um, Falcon's biggest critic? I, I'm not even sure why I'm talking to myself like I'm The Rock. You know you know who's, Fal who's the Falcon's real <laughs> critic? Uh, I guess I am talking to myself like I'm The Rock now. But no, no, my biggest critic happens to be myself. I am my own biggest critic, so um, I assure you, when I say that you can't get your enough daily doses of Falcon, which kind of sounds a little bit perverse, really, I am being really facetious when I say that and being sarcastic, obviously. Sarcasm, huh? How does that work? <laughs> you know, it's, it's actually surprising to me. Like, uh, I'd imagine at this point you are fully aware of my commentary style, the, the things I say, what I say, the ways I say them. And uh, sometimes it's surprising to me. Like, some people, I guess, just kind of miss the sarcasm or the point that I'm trying to make and... Like, in the, que in the comments, they'll be like, you know, what do you mean by this? And I'll be like, um, I was just, you know, like, honestly being sarcastic as I normally am half the time over here. And I I'm not sure if that's just basically sometimes, like, a... Uh, it could be, like, a language barrier sometimes, too, you know, like, I I'm fully aware that... Oh, yeah, I have this sword that that guy found for me. Oh, no, this guy's glitching out! <laughs> Bard! Bard, get out of here! Bard, what if I helped you? <laughs> Why are you glitching out again? I thought we already fixed this. Uh, going to check on a mushroom. Okay, look, dog. I'll sell you a mushroom so you get to get the hell out of here. Where's the mushrooms at? You tell me I don't need mushrooms now or what? Here we go. There you go. Awesome. He bought it. He's fat happy now. No problem. Done. But yeah, you know, sometimes I forget that sometimes there's a language barrier. Like, um, people will, like, listen to the videos and sometimes, like, you know, since maybe English isn't necessarily their first language, they'll, like, they won't understand what I'm trying to say. And for that, you have a perfect excuse. I'm not against you for that. But, my friend, if it's not a language barrier and you miss the point of my comments, sometimes you take them serious, shame on you! You should damn know, well, at this point, that Falcon is always fucking around. That's all I do. I'm like, uh, it's like that South Park episode, you know, where you have the shopkeeper, or not the shopkeeper, but he's the uh, wood shop, um, teacher. Quit screwing around! You kids always screwing around! <laughs> screwing around! That, that's, uh, that's me, in this scenario. Screwing around, all the time. I really wish I could put some items here, but apparently I can't. <laughs> it's forbidden for me now at this point. Uh, I have two more of you guys over here. You guys buying the wands? You guys better be buying the wands, man. I made these for a reason. Tell me you're not buying wands. I'll put a wand right here so you guys see them. I have wands. They're for sale, definitely. Uh, wooden shields? I mean, I guess we'll probably place them here. I have a ton of them in the back stock, so might as well try to sell them off. All of my um, fancy hats have been sold, though. Which is good, but at the same time, it's now making me worry because I'm thinking, oh god, I have to go and craft like a million of them again. Oh, <laughs> why? Why? I'm aware I'm making money out of it, but still, the crafting part is the annoying part. They really got to simplify crafting here even more so. Like, you know what? Make it a one-click crafting system. The moment, like, you know, just bring up a, a pull list, you know? And then it'll show you the things that you've crafted already. So here's how it should work out, in my theory. Once you've crafted something, it should be put into your, uh... Like, say over here, like, there'll be, or like, when you go into the... Hold on, let me, let me show this off even better. Guys, don't steal, okay? Hey. Why is shit on the floor? Is that bot not working again? Oh, of course not. Why would he work? Why would he work? <laughs> you, you asshole bot, you. I hate you so much. I give you fuel all the time, this is how you repay me? Look, dog. Pick stuff up. Add fuel? I have no fuel now. How do I not have fuel? Well, I mean, that's one way for it not to work, I guess. Uh, there's like a clusterfuck of things happening here. I can't pick this up anymore either. Ro Skeletor, please come over here. Alrighty, that's uh, interesting stuff. I gotta order some more fuel. I'm not gonna make... Let me... I'll get back onto my, you know, crafting thing pretty soon. You were never sent down, right? That's my bad. Here. Go, go to the Dragon Claw Cave. 
I'm sorry, I have a million things to do, not enough time to do them. Gotta clean as well, you guys have somehow ruined all my rugs. Jeez. This guy's over here cursing as well at the prices. You know what, buddy? You go somewhere else. You go to the Walmart of Shopkeep World. Let's see if you can find one. I dare you to find me one. Anyway. <laughs> we're trying to... Oh yeah, the, the crafting, right. Like, the moment you craft, right, this is how it should work out. If you've already found a recipe, when you come in here to craft, there should be like a list over here that says, Hey, gold armor. And you click on gold armor, and then it says, How many do you want to make? And you click on the amount, or you maybe even input it. Like, say, I want five of them. And it gives you five if... And only if you have the required items here. That's how it should work out. I don't have to. I shouldn't have to sit here and place like you know four items every single time. <laughs> uh, uh, it's okay if you have all the time in the world. Unfortunately, I don't. I'm trying to record a bunch of episodes at once, especially for you guys, so you have something to watch during um things. Honestly, if if I didn't, if I wasn't going out of town, and I was gonna have some time to record, this wouldn't be an issue. But right now, I'm trying to get a bunch of episodes recorded for you guys before Thanksgiving. Um, and I'm out of town and stuff, so um, I would really love. A crafting simplification just for this day. You know what? Go back to the old system after today. Obviously, it's not going to happen, but, you know. Um, you know, I got to pick up my own items because my robot just doesn't work anymore. That's fine. Good robots that I have here, you know. The only ones that are useful, apparently, are the killers. Killer robots are fine. Everybody else is basically useless for me. We're about to wrap up our day over here, too, so... Oh, no! I picked up killer robot by mistake! Uh, I hate when that happens. That's how I pick up those bots by mistake, and then I'm wondering, like, where did they go? It's because I'm walking by holding down the uh, mouse button, so they just get kind of zooped in there. Zooped in there. What, it's not a word? <laughs> it's a word now, right? Big deal. Uh, we should probably go ahead and order more fuel, because obviously we didn't need it. That guy's stealing, he got zapped next to me. Good. Good, that's what you get for being a dirty thief. Look at this, all this money I'm spending over here on fuel. Man, I gotta, I gotta do it anyway, you know? There's no, no other way about it. Pick this up here. Sword planes. Bam, bam. Bow, bow. Well, I don't know, bow. Where's my two-handed version at? Two-handed? There you go. There you go. All right. Uh, Roboto Man. Oh, we should probably have my fuel now. Oh, oh my God. So many things to do at once. Hey, body. Come here with me. Oh, God. Look, more bones. Seems like a good mate. Don't, don't see you like a good mate to me. Shop, dude. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up my fuel here. Let's see if we can get these bots working now. I have a feeling I might have to restart my game. Sometimes just restarting the game gets everything working again. Weird quirks of the game on occasion. I like it, but let's just be honest here, there's a bunch of bugs. Constant bugs, and you know, what's, what's at least fine about it is that, you know, it's specifically stated when you first start up the game, hey, expect a bunch of bugs. So, I mean, it's not like the game's over here trying to hide it. But it can be relatively annoying sometimes. Uh, or actually, let's just be honest here, all the times, really. Okay, you're fine. Cool, cool, cool. Stuff over here on the ground, I gotta do some cleaning. Clean it around, I gotta pay taxes again. Tax man, leave me alone already! I've been paying these taxes constantly. We're almost up to 200,000, which is fine. You know what, I feel like um, these guys are buying all the stuff over there in that front area, and they're not coming back here too often to buy a bunch of the uh, golden stuff. Like, I have a bunch of golden stuff over here on sale. Shields are barely getting touched, these books have never been touched once. Then again, I do have a bunch of books over there in the front, so if they want books, I guess they'll just stop over here, huh? Hmm, that would make sense. That definitely would make sense. Did I pick up another bot again by mistake? Jesus Christ, that needs to stop happening. Champion isn't back yet. Door is reloading. Huh. It's surprising that the door's reloading. Usually, um, my bots alone do... Oh my god, stop, stop humping the, uh... <laughs> stop humping my table there, Skeletor. You're spooky enough as it is without, you know, committing, like, random sexual acts over here against my furniture. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, do some restocking here. If I even have the chance or the option to. Okay. Pick up a book. This is a definitely an easier way to restock, I'll tell you that much. Gotta order some books pretty soon, too. Ah, uh, let's see. Pans are still up there. Over here, what do we have here? I forgot what we had here. I honestly forgot what we had here. Was it the, uh, wooden chest? Maybe it was a wooden chest? I don't think I'm, uh, I don't have any more of those. I'd be surprised if I did, honestly. Hmm. I have some golden ones, but those go in the golden section, which bar people barely even get to at this point. Uh, leather hoods, I have a few of those. Let's go ahead and start restocking over here. How you doing, sir? Yeah, don't mind me, just doing some restocking, because you guys won't, um, you know, leave stuff in the... racks for me, apparently. Boom, boom. I, mean, I shouldn't be complaining, obviously. They're buying stuff. That's the reason why they're not here anymore. I have a few more wooden ones, I should say. Actually, wasn't there one here on the ground? 
it was at some point. Look what you guys did to my, my plated boots! Look at these guys, they're just kind of fucking hanging up upside down. My god. It looks like a bad prom night over here happened, you know? You know, that's like, you know, a uh, booze reference, obviously. <laughs> prom, booze, you know, a lot of miscellaneous acts over here. Uh, I mean, if, you, if you've been there, you already know what I'm talking about. If you are still waiting to get to prom, uh, let me tell you, you're in for a treat. You know, unless, you know, it's not your thing. If it's not your thing, then you never mind. I'm full of shit here. Uh, let's go ahead and um, put some more two-handed. more than usual, anyway. Excuse me, restock right here. And let me just put down this goddamn fire sword here, too. Get it out of the way. Now, here we go. I knew there was one on the floor somewhere. Boom. And boom. Now, over here, what do we have here? Buckle shields? I think we had buckle shields over here, but all my shields are gone now. Oh, here's the wooden chest. Perfect. Three of them. Oh, it's not really much, but it'll do. Boom, boom, boom. And... Enchanted. Enchanted. Three for one. Weeds all over the place here. Yeah, these guys aren't really liking these prices too much. I'm seeing way too many items on the floor, and these all can be, uh, you know, robot kills either. Uh, over here we had mushrooms, which apparently we we're out of, huh? Now I gotta go and grow as well after this episode? Oh my god. Never ending! Okay. There you go. And mush. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some growing after this episode, because we are... Out. Shopping more! Shopping, yeah, I know. Thank you for shopping, my friend. We're about to wrap up here today anyway, so that's fine. What's uh, what's on your shoulders over here, huh? Lloyd Brindley? You got some wooden shoulders going on, huh? Eh, they're fine. I mean, I'd prefer you wear some golden ones. It's more money for me that way, but hey, whatever. And we'll pick this up. Alrighty, hoo-wee! That was a hectic one as well. We kind of stayed up on top of the stocking here for once, but let me be honest with you. I have a lot of work to do off-camera here, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. Look at these guys. You guys didn't leave a like. Here's what happened. That's actually quite lewd, my friends. Can you please close your legs, you perverts? Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.